I changed my mind. I don't want the treatments. I can't go through with it. Why don't you two talk this through? I'll just be outside. Fox, you heard what Dr. Russell said. You have to take these treatments. I know that there are some bad side effects, but if you want to live longer, you have to do it. I mean, isn't it worth it to prolong your life? I can answer that. He's refusing the treatment because he's not really sick. Isn't that the real reason, Fox? No, Steve. Oh, yes, Mr. Crane. Oh, please. Julian, may I have a, have a word with you? Well, yes, of course. What about? Well, it's my son's treatment. I'm uh, really rather concerned about it. Oh, man, you are a lot of trouble for a worthless little slut. Do you know that? Please don't talk to me that way. I'm your wife. You know, making me sneak you out of the hospital past your brother and those two busybody girlfriends of yours? Honey, I ain't got time for this, okay? I've got work to do. Which, come to think of it, honey, so do you. No. No. No more. You know what? It's the least that you can do, okay? Because who else would have married a little slut like you, right? Honey, look. At least you can just bring a paycheck. Do the only thing that you know how to do. I don't want to sleep with anyone but you, Spike. I'm not feeling well. Honey, that's beautiful, but you know what? That's too bad. You're gonna have to get over it because I set you up with someone special, right? Someone new. Okay, now we gotta go. No, no, no. Can't it wait? No, it can't wait, honey, because this guy asked for you. He asked for you by name. But I don't want to do this anymore. I don't care what you want to do. You better shut your little mouth. You better stop running it. Or you... Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, that's more like it. Hey, hey, honey. Honey, I'm sorry. Hey, listen, listen, baby. Look. This is, this is just for a little while longer, okay, honey? Just until we get on our feet again, honey. Look at me, honey. Baby. I love you. I do. And all I'm asking, honey, is that you act like you love your date tonight. Okay? That's all, right? Now, honey, look, we gotta get going, sweetheart, okay? Because after I drop you off, honey, I have a meeting that's gonna change the rest of my life. All right? Now, let's go. Oh, my God. These men are having sex. What are you doing with gay pornography on your cell phone? Who are these men? Is this really necessary, Chief Bennett? You're a cadet. You know better than that. I'm innocent. I want you to let me go so I can find the psycho who keeps attacking Fancy. Don't ask me for something I can't do, Luis. Do it for me, then. I'm the only witness. Luis would never try to attack me. <sighs> I can't let him go. I mean, look at the evidence against him, okay? including your own statement. Don't tell me. You had Luis arrested. What is wrong with you? Little Ethan. Why is it why, why is it saying little Ethan? Why is it st No, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna take it apart either. Maybe this thing will say something else so we know what the hell's going on here. Where's that memory stick? You mean the memory drive that contains so many secrets about the people in this town? Including the proof that Ethan is little Ethan's real father? Yes, I want it, all right? You name your price. Oh, God, I can't let that box reveal that Ethan is little Ethan's father. It'll destroy him and my whole family. Money's on the table. Bingo. Hey, 
Got it. And you got Jessica. Now listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to show your dad a good time, okay, sweetie? Okay. Hey, Al, you're really hurting me. Oh, don't bruise the merchandise. Hey, man, no harm, okay? Chill. I'm just getting her in the mood, all right? All right, baby, do not make me come back to bail you out of trouble again, all right? I don't want any dead Johns. I don't want any calls from the hospital. And I want your family and friends to come and rescue you again, okay? Do I make myself clear? Yes. Uh, what? Yes. Good girl. Have a good time, okay? Be there in a minute, babe. Just making myself beautiful for you. Aren't you sick and tired of your stupid charade, Fox? You almost died in a hit-and-run accident. I still think you and your father set up only to get Kay's sympathy. That's sick, Miguel. Okay, do you see the way that his mind works? Uh, nobody in their right mind would do what he's accusing me of. You're not in your right mind, Fox. You're refusing a medical treatment that's going to prolong your life because you're afraid of the side effects? Of course I am. But sickness, baldness, impotency, is that so hard to understand? No, but when someone sick has the right to choose between death or impotency, they tend to choose life. There's no guarantee these treatments will help me to live much longer anyway. Long shot at best. Why take the risk? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe because your wife asked you to. You know, if you were really suffering from a terminal illness, I honestly don't think you'd hesitate. The only reason you don't want these treatments is because you know they are totally unnecessary. You're as healthy as I am, and you don't want to give up on your love life with Kay. We're newlyweds. Is that so hard? Listen to me, save your lives for someone who Wait, believes you. That's enough. I'm not going to have you upsetting Fox like this when he's really sick. He's not sick, Kay. He's never been sick at all. Yeah, I, I just have a, a question or two about my son's treatment plan. Oh, of course. I've been doing a bit of research, and I was wondering if perhaps you could make a small adjustment in my son's dosages. Oh, you've got the wrong person. And that would be up to the doctor in charge of this case, Dr. Oh, well, I know that, but you are, in fact, the nurse, aren't you? You're the one who administers the treatment. Am I correct? <laughs> well, yes, but according to the doctor's orders. You're, you're not asking me to change them on my own, are you? You know, I could tell you were a bright young woman. I'm bright enough to know when I'm being asked to break the rules. <laughs> no, I most certainly cannot. You know, that research I did actually wasn't into my son's condition. It was... What had to do with your, shall we say, gambling issues? My... Yes, you seem to have acquired... Quite a large debt. I, I, I'm going to 12-step programs, and I'm, I'm getting help with a payment plan. Oh, it seems very surprising that uh, your husband has no idea about this, uh, that you acquired this debt. It must be like walking a tightrope, hoping that he won't find out the mess you've made of things. What do you want, Mr. Crane? Ah, oh, well... I want you to help me, and I, in turn, will help you. I took the liberty of making this out to you earlier. Oh, my God. That should cover your, uh, your gambling debts quite nicely, shouldn't it? All you have to do is make sure that my son gets exactly the treatment that he truly needs. I didn't have Luis arrested. Then what's going on here? Why don't you answer a question first? What are you doing here now? Run out of James's cough syrup again? Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's going on with you two? I don't know about my niece, but I would rather not get into it. Not when Luis is in trouble. What happened, Luis? Oh, nothing much. Sam just seems to think that I dumped acid on Fancy. That's insane! I know. That's what I keep telling him, but unfortunately, like all the other attacks, all the evidence points to me as the guy who did it. You know better. You know Luis. You don't think he would actually do something like that, do you? No. The trouble is that Luis was the only one in the room. 
holding the jar of acid. He also had a key to Fancy's room, and the window that the attacker supposedly escaped from was locked from the inside. I was in Fancy's room because I was trying to save her. And when I went through the unlocked door, the attacker was already in there holding the jar of acid over Fancy, and luckily, I saved her just in the nick of time. Unfortunately, a little acid did splash on her leg. I went to make sure that she was okay, and when I did, the attacker got away. Well, I believe you. Now, what's this about your statement? Chief Bennett just asked me to tell him what happened, as I know it, and that's all I did. And you didn't actually see the person. Listen, I don't want you grilling Fancy. Well, I'm just trying. I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it. But Fancy feels bad enough as it is. She gave me a statement, even though she didn't want to. You know that I didn't do this, Sam. At least don't make this harder for me than it already is. You're already on suspension and out on bail. Now I have to rebook you on these new charges. Uh, wait. Charges, plural? The attack tonight with the acid and Ray Thomas's murder. You knew you were a prime suspect. Now you understand if you're convicted of this crime, the maximum penalty in this state is death. No! I think it's getting ready to say something. What, what, what do you know about little Ethan? What do you, what are you doing? What are you... Why the hell did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? That box could have told us who's harassing you and why. That was really stupid. I'm going to go after no, it. No, you're not. That's we stupid. Got the... No. Well, you're not telling me anything. I mean, that box was the, our last resort. Okay, really? If you, you really think you're going to find it in there, Ethan? And come on, even if you did... It, it, it's damaged by water, but you're not going to ever find out what's in there. You're right, Teresa. We're never going to find out what information was in the box. So you're right, it's probably ruined. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why won't you let me help you, huh? Teresa, I know, I know that, that some person was, was torturing you through that damn box. Now tell me what's going on. Teresa, damn it! Wait! Where the hell have you been, man? I don't like to be kept waiting. Oh, I don't think I like the tone of your voice. You seem to forget which one of us is holding the good hand. You see, you do what I say, not the other way around, okay? What do you want, Spike? Money. I'm just getting sick and tired of waiting around for your lame old embezzlement scheme to hatch. I want to make a withdrawal tonight. From where? From the Crane Piggy Bank. Where else? Miles, did you not get the memo? It's take a friend to work night. <laughs> now let's go. What's going on here? Why do you have this this filth? Why do you have pornography on your cell phone, Chad? Baby, you weren't you weren't supposed to see that, okay? Oh, I'm sure I wasn't. Trust me. How could you have that stuff here in our home with our son in the very next room? Please, please don't tell me that you watch that kind of stuff. No, of course not. Well, obviously you do. Do you know the men in that video? Oh my God. Chad. Wouldn't eat. No, no. How could you do this? Don't you see what he's doing to you, Kay? Yeah, he's choosing quality of life over how long he has to No, he's life. not. Okay, he's refusing a treatment that has side effects he isn't up for because he's not dying at all. Please just get out of here, Miguel. Please just leave me and my wife alone. Go ahead, Kay. Why don't you ask him? Ask him why the sudden turnaround. Let, let's hear his latest reason. Come on. Okay, you know, I would like to know. I, I don't understand. Because, you know, you were all set to take these treatments, and now all of a sudden you've changed your mind. Don't tell me that he's getting to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know how debilitating these treatments are, okay? Okay, I don't want to lose out on any part of a relationship in what little time we have left together. If, if it could 
keep you around longer so we could be together? I mean, isn't it just worth a try? It doesn't matter that we can't make love. No, it matters to me, Kay. Oh, and there you have it. The real reason why Fox isn't going to do what any terminally ill patient would do. You're an idiot. You just gave yourself away. I can't believe you're going through with this, Sam. Luis would never commit any of the crimes you were charging him with. He has got to be the most dedicated policeman on your force. I already cut him some slack, in case you forgot. Even though he was out on bail and suspended from the force, I let him investigate Fancy's attacks. I shouldn't have. And it's so obvious that no one is finding the real culprit. All right, Sheridan, take it easy. It's not Sam's fault that he had to arrest me. I'm sorry. I just hate seeing you like this. Now, Sam, please tell me you will not put Luis in a regular holding cell. The other prisoners will take out their hatred of cops on him. Don't worry, all right? I'm going to put him in his own cell for his own protection. Thanks. Luis, look, I'm sorry I have to do this, but... Uh... I have to rebook you now. Let me explain. What okay? is to explain? Chad, there's nothing to explain here. I... You've changed. That's all there is to it. I, I mean, I feel like I don't even know you anymore. I mean, first you have all these intolerant things to say about gay people, and then I see you with gay pornography on your cell phone, Chad. Do you, do you watch this stuff all the time? I, I mean, is that what you're doing at the office late night no, when you're supposed to be no, working? No, Whitney, no. Because I've heard about stuff like this, you know, people that are addicted to porn and... You know, they say that they're happily married, but all they want to do is watch dirt like that. Whitney, listen to me. You have this all wrong, okay? Let me just explain to you how this video got here. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to hear it, Chad. Well, that's really. too bad, because I'm not going to stand here and let you think the worst of me. Okay, this video got here from my work computer. I don't understand. I, I was transferring some files from the office computer. This accidentally got sit there with it. So you're trying to tell me that this was on your work computer? What was it doing there? Look, baby, I'm about to tell you a nasty truth about how big corporations make their profits. So you're going to tell me that that is on your phone because of Crane Industries, Chad? Yes, Crane Industries when my father, Alistair, was running it. I still don't get it. Oh, look, Crane owns several hotel chains. So what? And hotel chains make some of their money from in-room videos. I mean, most of it's family-oriented, but some of it's not, like this. Of course, you're not going to mention that on the balance sheets. The fact is, there's a lot of money in porn, and Alistair wasn't afraid to take advantage of it. But, Chad, Alistair is dead. So why would Crane Industries still be involved in that? They're not. I mean, okay, but that doesn't stop the filmmakers from trying to get us back. And you know, every once in a while, they send us garbage like this with a pitch attached to it. Now, I try to delete it all, but I guess I missed this one. Baby, I'm just sorry you had to see this at all, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry I had to see it, too. But I guess, um, it does explain some things. What's that? All this anti-gay stuff that's been going on with you lately. About how you're saying that homosexuals can't experience real love is just about sex. It's material like this. It's warped your thinking, Chad. You just gave yourself away, Fox. Isn't prolonging your life just a little bit more important than having sex with Kay? Just go. I don't have the strength to handle your browbeating, Miguel. What the hell are you doing here? Would you come to take another whack at killing my son? I never took a whack at your son in the first place. Why don't you tell that to the judge? Get out of here! I don't take orders from you. I want to bet. Okay, oh, yeah. you guys, that's enough. Just, Miguel, you need to go. Okay, he's the one that... Please go! <sighs> I thought you were going to keep that murdering psychopath away from my son. Look, I'm sorry, but I have to talk to him. Go get her father. He's going to poison her mind against me. First things first. You now have the perfect weapon to refute any and all of Miguel's accusations. What have you done, father? Save the day, son. 
save the day. What have I done? Teresa, you got you got to listen to me. No, Come on. No, don't. No, look, there's nothing to say, Ethan. There was plenty to say. You can't shut me out like this. You got to let me help you. Let me protect you for God's sake. Look, I know there's this big secret that you've been keeping from me, okay? Only I didn't know how big it was. And every time you come close to telling me, and there's always something that interrupts you, Teresa. There's a phone call or someone comes in the door, or suddenly you change your mind. I'm here to tell you that that's going to stop right now, because Jared was shot tonight. He was almost killed by whatever this is. And you could be next, and I can't have that. Can't have that. I don't want that. Because I love you very much. And I know in spite of this, this tough facade that you're putting on, I know you're scared. And you've got to let me help you. I can't protect you unless you tell me what it is. I would tell you if I could. No, you can tell me. And you're going to tell me. And I'm going to keep asking you to tell me until you do. I won't have it any other way, okay? That's because you mean very much to me. And I need to know what it is. Look at you. You're scared to death. You're shaking like a leaf. And you're, you're playing with fire here, and you're going to get burned sooner or later. Teresa, whatever it is, hey, there's, there's nothing that's so big and bad out there that you and I can't handle together. So tell me what it is. You know I'm telling the truth. No, I don't. Okay, if he was really dying, he'd jump at the chance to extend his life with you. He wouldn't be backing out of this treatment. Listen to me. Please tell me you believe me over his lies. I don't know what to believe anymore. Gosh, sometimes I think that you're right, and then I look in there and I see him lying in that hospital bed having to deal with his death sentence. Which doesn't exist except as a way to bind you to him, Kay. It already worked enough that you married the guy, and he just wants to keep it going. But you know what? He never counted on actually having to do anything except to lie in that bed with a tragic look on his face. He's giving himself away by refusing the treatment, okay? If you, if you just listen to me and, and, and just hear what I'm saying, you'll know the truth. What have you done, Father? Well, let's just say I became quite familiar with your treatment nurse, a lovely woman with a not-so-small gambling debt. You mean, well? Bottom line is, she's going to make sure that you aren't given the real treatment drugs. What? You won't be impotent or in any way diminished. You'll get a, a placebo, not the, the real stuff. I mean, uh, it'll be made up of sugar and water, no more. You're in the clear. I knew it. Right out. While you're waiting, why don't you get undressed? See you in bed. Okay, this is the last time. I don't care what Spike says. Once I see him, I'm going to tell him I won't do this anymore. There is no way that I'm gonna rob Crane Industries anymore. Okay? I work there. I'm through helping you. We're done. Well, like hell we are. Now you walk away from me, and you're never ever gonna see Sheridan or that kid again. And you know why? Because they'll both be dead by sunup. And you know I'll do it just to show you how serious I am. Hmm. So, Chrissy boy. Are you coming, or what? Sam, you can't be serious about this. I need to talk to Fancy. She can stop this. She can't stop anything, Sharon. It's out of her control. Well, I don't care. I need to talk to her outside. I need her in the back. She has to sign her statement so we can get it notarized. No, I'm going to keep you out here, but I have to take precautions. Luis. Sorry about this. Don't worry about it. Hey. Tell me what you 
what you're keeping from me. It's the only way I'm going to be able to help you. Cam, look, so much is happening. I know that you and I can be together. That's all that matters to me right now. No, we always think that we can be together, and then something or someone gets in our way. Not this time. Not Gwen, anyway. What do you mean? Gwen uh, has filed for divorce. So I am free. I'm free. <laughs> I mean, we can... We can be together. There's nothing standing in our way unless we let it. We can be together, and we can be the family that we always want. Well, now I guess I see where you get all these weird ideas about gay people not experiencing real love. It's because you have to sort through all that stuff at work. No, that's not why I said gay people get together because of sex, not love. It's because that's what I believe, Whitney. Whether or not it's PC. Well, I'm not talking about political correctness. I'm talking about it's just backwards. Chad... How can you be so open-minded about everything else in your life, but be so narrow-minded when it comes to gay people, Chad? I, I, I don't get why you're making such a big deal about this. Well, my sister's gay. And you said some pretty mean things about her. Simone loved Ray with all her heart. Yeah, well, if she did, she's an exception to the rule. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know any better, I would say this comes from personal experience or something. What? Is that what this is about? Did a woman in your past leave you for someone of the same sex? I don't know what you're talking about. If that's the case, I, I mean, I would understand why you're so sensitive about it, you know? I mean, that would be, God, the ultimate betrayal if someone you loved with all your heart left you for someone of the same sex. I mean, that would be hard to get over. Why is it that every time I come in here, you two are plotting something? I thought you left. No, I didn't. And I'm glad. Do you see this, Kay? Uh, I, I happen to be having a heart-to-heart -heart with my, my son. Uh, Fox, don't you have something to tell your, your lovely wife? I'm sorry, Kay, um, about being a jerk before, about declining the, the treatment. What? My father talks some sense into me. You're right. I need to accept whatever medical help is available to me, no matter what the side effects may be. I'm going to take the course of treatment. Honey, that's great. I don't buy it, Kay. Would you please respect the few moments of peace my son may have left? Kay, come on. Okay. Miguel, he's going through with the treatment. That changes everything. I hate this. To see you handcuffed like a criminal. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You only... You only said what you believed to be true. I know. I hope you know I never did anything to hurt you. I would never hurt you. And I'm gonna prove it. How, if you're gonna be in jail? I'll find a way. Fancy.
says she's sorry as if that's going to make up for this. Oh, please don't blame Fancy. This isn't her fault. You're right. I just hate seeing you like this. You wouldn't mind if I just had a moment alone, would you? I've been through a lot tonight. Of course not. I'll see if I can help Sam and Fancy in the back. Hope you're doing the right thing, Louise. This is really happening. You're finally going to be free of Gwen. We can have it all. We can be together. We 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 can be together forever. We can get married if we want to. The four of us can be a family. That's what I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? That's what I've always wanted too. You mean that? Teresa, I just I just stopped believing that it was gonna be able to happen. It was like eating me up. I didn't know. Oh. I didn't know. you to go against your principles or anything like that I'm just saying maybe you know maybe you could be a little bit more open-minded well let's just drop this okay I just want you to understand that real people are a lot more complex than those actors doing whatever it is they're doing on your PDA just I don't know try to be more tolerant to people that are different than you I don't want to talk about this anymore Whitney okay <laughs> I'm sorry. I agree to disagree then. Yeah. I'm gonna go check on Miles. Same sex couples can't feel love for each other. They can't. So wonderful. You are giving yourself a chance to live. I'm sorry about acting so selfishly before. I was, I was scared. Well, you don't have to be, because I'm here for you, and I will always be here for you. Don't fall for it, Kay. He's lying. This is just another part of his scheme. Ready or not, here I come. Okay. Though I prefer ready. Are you undressed and under the covers? Yes. Be right there. Oh, no. I can't do this. I don't care what Spike says. I'm leaving. Where you going, love? Um... Oh my god! Don't run away. You look so beautiful tonight. <coughs> Don't be afraid. I love you, Jessica. I guess you don't give me much choice, do you? <laughs> now you're catching on. Just think of it as the high cost for love. <sighs> Let's go clean up the crane kitty.
sorry you have to be part of this, but you're my only witness. Where the hell is Luis? Oh. He, he's not with you? No, he's not with me. Well, I went down the hallway to get a soda, and when I came back, he, he was oh, gone. I, I, damn I, it. I figured... Oh, my God, he escaped. This is Chief Bennett. I want to put an APB out on Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, an escaped felon. Consider him armed and dangerous. This is all your fault. If anything happens to Luis, this is all your fault. was on the phone, Julian. It was our son. I'm sorry about this, Sam, but I gotta clear my name. You have a shoot to kill order. NBC Tonight. How about a little comedy night done Dwight? You can refer to me as Mr. Schroot. Mr. Poop? Schroot. With My Name is Earl. Yeah! And The Office. Sure, Mr. Poop. Mr. Schroot. With an all-new Scrubs that's entertaining as well as educational. Analgesic, not analgesic. Sir, the pills go in your mouth. And finally, nothing's as sweet as a 30 Rock wine tasting. Tastes like the urine of Satan after a hefty portion of asparagus. New comedy tonight on NBC. Catch an all-new one versus 100, Friday, 8, 7 central on NBC.